Hello guys and welcome to a new Stone Division 2 video today by me Vulcan. Today I'm going to be starting the IASI campaign on the Soviet side. In the near future I'll be starting the Tiraspol campaign on the Axis side so watch out for that if you're interested in seeing me play with the Romanians. IASI, August 20th to 29th. In an almost exact rerun of the Stalingrad campaign, the Soviets are striking the Romanian forces guarding both flanks of the German 6th Army. Having failed in spring in front of Targu Frumos, Stavka has this time secretly gathered powerful tank and cavalry mechanized armies to break the strong points around Ayasi. Their orders are to punch through the Axis lines and link up with the second Ukrainian front coming from the east. So you see the picture on the right hand side here. We're going to be attacking from this left hand side, breaking through Atayasi towards Balad. Let's read the operation description. On August 20th, 1944, the Soviets take the Axis troops in Romania completely by surprise with a devastating strategic offensive. In only a matter of hours, the front is broken in multiple places. Left quiet all summer, the most capable Wehrmacht forces of Army Group South Ukraine have been urgently rushed to reinforce the crumbling defensive lines in Poland and Belarus. Therefore, when the Red Army strikes in late August, there are almost no reserves left to prevent a breakthrough. Despite the desperate resistance of several German and Romanian formations and a spirited counterattack by Greater Romania Armoured Division, Nothing could stop the Soviet juggernaut from rolling into Romania. Within two days, both flanks of the German 6th Army had collapsed, with Axis units pushed back in disarray. Having been surrounded once again, the second destruction of the 6th Army was swift and complete. August 20th, 1944 became Black Sunday as the 3rd Reich suffered some 250,000 casualties in total on this day. The successful Soviet offensive also resulted in a quickly sprung coup d'etat by King Michael I, with Romania switching sides, joining the Allies and taking up arms against their former Axis comrades within days. Too late to intervene, Hitler had lost the most valuable Ploietsi oil fields and the critical military support of a large ally. And there you have it. These are the Soviet and Axis forces. We've got General Malinovsky on one side and General Vola on the other. Let's jump in to select a side. Going to, of course, set the AI to hard. We're going to be playing on the Soviet side. I will, of course, do this on the Axis side eventually as well. But we'll do the Tiraspol uh, part of this offensive on the Axis side first. Okay, let's launch the campaign. In the middle of August 1944, with heavy fighting raging across the Eastern Front and the Red Army in Poland drawing more and more German reinforcements into combat, the next strike was being planned by Stopka. The target? Romania. Taking advantage of the urgent redeployment of most German armored units from the southern flank to reinforce hard-pressed defenses around the Polish capital, the Soviets massed huge forces in front of the weakened German and Romanian troops guarding the frontier. Stalin's objective is to knock Romania out of the war with one devastating blow. On August 20th, the second and third Ukrainian fronts launch a simultaneous attack in the Jassy and Tiraspol sectors. Striking hard at the sectors held by the Romanians, the Soviets aim to envelop the reconstituted German 6th Army, rebuilt after its destruction at Stalingrad. These unfortunate German soldiers now find themselves trapped in an encirclement eerily similar to their infamous defeat two years earlier. The second Ukrainian front makes up the planned Western Pincer, which aims to surround the German 6th Army. To that end, you must quickly capture the town of Berlad. This is where we will meet our comrades of the third Ukrainian front coming from the east. 
Jassy offering the quickest route is heavily defended. Bypassing it will be difficult. Prepare to secure the city. Targu Frumos, which has resisted us successfully in the spring, isn't as well protected as Jassy. Yet this sector is occupied by German troops, supported by the Greater Romania Armored Division. The road along the western bank of the Suret River might prove to be an easier but much longer route. The same consideration applies to the road along the eastern bank of the Prut River. Although this path will be under threat from the 6th Army's units, desperate for a way out. Red Army Reserves stand by to join in and exploit any breakthrough. Good luck, General. Victory awaits. And here we are, guys, in the campaign. It's a big one. We have a lot of forces on the front line here to push forwards. Our flags are going down. We've got the objective of Barlad. We've got the objective at Ayasi. And we've got the objective at Targu Flomos. So, yeah, we'll probably go for all of the flags, try and take all of them if we can. That is the plan. So, uh, let's go through our forces. Um, generally, it's just, I think, most of these like Strelki and Gavardia, kind of standard units for the Soviet side. We have a lot of artillery backing us up, a lot of AA. There's not so many tanks at the start here. I don't know if we can get some more. Looks like we can. Yeah, these are going to be T-34-85s and T-34-1943s. Nice thing about this, though, is they do come accompanied by quite a bit of infantry. So that's kind of handy. And they've got a motorized rifle brigade to uh, back them up as well. Yeah, loads of them. Look at that. This one's actually got some ISU-122s and some ISU-122Ss. Also the cavalry. These going to be Kazaki. There's some Kazarazvedka squads in there. Yeah, Kazaki mostly. We've got the 6th tank army. That's going to be more T-34s. Damn, there's a lot of reinforcements here. Look at that. Crazy. We'll go through more of these as they come about. I'm not going to go through all of them now. Have a quick look at our Air Force just so that I know what I have to work with. We've got the 178th Guards Fighter Regiment here. This is going to be LA-5s. They have the 250 kilogram bomb variants and there's also the Yak-7B in there with a bunch of rockets. 989th Assault Regiment is going to be IL-2s. That's some terrible cluster HE there. There are some good variants though with the extra rockets. It's good. The 511th Recon Regiment. That's P3s. Uh, there are some P3s with rockets. Most of them don't have any decent armaments though. 23rd Assault Regiment. More IL-2s. Good that we have some of these 37mm ones. They're going to be useful for popping enemy tanks. Especially when the Romanians start bringing across their armour. Not that there's going to be much of it, but something to watch out for. Uh, then we've got the 151st Guards Fighter Regiment here. This is going to be some Yak 9s. Okay, cool. Okay, so it looks like on this middle front, we're actually ready to attack in a bunch of places, which is nice. On the left, we're not quite in range, so we'll probably have to move a lot of these forwards. But I think what I'm going to do is we're going to just jump straight into a battle. I'm going to try and break through towards Ayasi. Not quite sure how I want to do it yet. The Hussars here will probably be quite difficult to get through. Uh, the Rashiari in our way. Uh, actually, they're not that strong, I don't think. I mean, the Rashiari do have like a decent medium range engagement. See the mortars and stuff that I'm more worried about though. They've got a lot of these machine guns which do quite a bit of damage. I don't know how I'm going to attack them. Maybe with like both of these, the 645th Rifle Regiment and the 1317th Rifle Regiment. The only thing I've got to be a little bit careful of is uh, pushing into these and then leaving myself exposed to the units behind. Well, that could definitely happen. I guess I'm in, kind of in range to maybe bombard the ones behind, but I think I'm going to want to use... My artillery in the battle, potentially. Actually, no, there's no AA cover here, is there? 
They're probably going to have to bring in some fighters. I'm thinking I'm just going to push down this road. Okay. Let's go in with the 1,127th Rifle Regiment. The 1,129th behind. And then possibly some aircraft. I'm going to bring in maybe the 178th Guards Fighter Regiment. Because then I can use bombers. Or like a few bombs here and there. But while still having some air cover. It doesn't look like I can bring any of the IL-2s in phase A. This might be a little bit difficult. Going to have to make sure that I bring plenty of mortars. But we'll try and make it work. I think best we can hope for in a breakthrough attack, like realistically, is probably just a minor victory. The way that the flags work make it quite difficult. Like the more you get, the faster the ticks go down, of course. So it gets to a point where it's very, very difficult to get that major victory. But we'll try for it. Uh, probably just going to try and take like these flags on the left hand side and then we'll push more on the right hand side and capture all of these. So let's do a push through here. We'll do Strauki. Going to need plenty of units to go up the hill as well. We're going to need mortars, but I won't bring down the mortars just yet. I'm going to bring in like bunches of Strauki everywhere. So that we can try and capture these flags sooner or later. Uh, not sure about this right hand side, this seems pretty open. Right, having to get up here is going to be really bad, considering they can actually deploy in this blue area. This might not be good. Alright, what do we get? We do get some 120 more mortars. I'm going to bring in a few of these on this side. I'll have them kind of move forwards a little bit more. Do I have any more of those? Yeah, we got the second group here. Just going to have these. She may as well just have them unloaded from the start, actually. Okay. And uh, yeah, we'll do three here as well. Is that everything? I definitely want a unit on this right hand side, so we'll put a Straki over here. Or just unload it at the start and just have him run forwards. We're going to need some um, snipers and stuff, actually. Yeah, we'll launch the battle, see what I can find, and we'll go from there. Definitely something on that right hand side. I'm just going to unload these and go on the march across there. These guys can unload and march across there. These guys can unload and march across here. Okay. Uh, when we get our first tick, probably going to just get something to go up on this ridge. Probably get like a bunch of snipers in actually just to recon for us. It's probably a good shout. Try and get to the edge of... Uh, this area, I guess. I'm going to have one of the Strokies stay here and get to the edge of the forest just so that we can see what's in the town. But we've got 31 minutes, which is good to do stuff. Let me grab some snipers. A couple on the hill, put one up here. Couple there, couple there. Do. Let's get these mortars to pour down on that unit. We'll bring in some supply. Okay, we can see a unit on that right hand side. We'll just mortar the crap out of that. I'm just going to have my sniper move to the edge of the hill. Uh, same deal here. We'll just have these snipers move to the edge. It's gonna wanna hit that Hotchkiss afterwards. Oh, 
Sorry, how to completely overkill something. <laughs> Just put six 120ml mortars on it. Right, yeah, they do have AA up, so probably not a good idea for me to actually bring in the fighters. I might bring in some Starkey DP on this side because it's open range engagement. Oh, we're going to have to hit that 37 quite hard. I might put a couple rounds on that. Oh, there's another MG there as well. I have to take that out. Okay, I'm just going to unload these early. We'll go take that objective. So I'm probably going to have these just try and cross the bridge. And then these ones can go up this hill. Okay. Probably bring in like a bunch of Maxims up here, I'm thinking. Could probably do the same for this ridge. Got another bunch of shots coming down from the mortar. Good. Make sure I'm reloading those sooner than later. The sniper took out the Hotchkiss. It's good. This guy's taking a lot of damage trying to get in here. Yeah, we're going to have to mortar the crap out of those two bunkers as well. Nice. Killed the pack 37. It's perfect. Alright, we'll hit that 37. And then we'll hit uh, this pack 50. I do kind of want to get on top of this pack 37 here. I don't want to be like wasting all of my ammunition on that bunker. MG bunker there. Oh no. <laughs> I was going to say my Strogi might get surrendered, but that would get. I recaptured the left side. The left side's more or less done. We can push forward towards the infantry. I need to get onto this hill though. Not bad. The sniper up on that side. Just gonna try and get her right on top of that. Make sure we kill this off with this Thraki. It's good. Already used up a lot of ammunition on these mortars. And perfect. So we just move these forwards to the edge here. I'll keep moving these forwards a little bit as well. Maybe we can even push across to this next flag, I'm not sure. Seems a bit too far though. Especially across the open here. Probably not a good idea. I'm going to need a bunch to push into the town. So let's bring in some Staraki DP. And uh, if I have any more normal Staraki, I'll bring those in as well. There we do, we've got plenty. Cool. This can be a push through the town then. 
Good. On ten flags. Not bad. Let's kill this MG bunker. Or sniper. Was that on the right hand side got killed? What was that? No idea. Well, I should probably try and hit that inventory on the right hand side there. Definitely hit that bunker a couple times. Okay, uh, let's just unload these boys. We'll start pushing across. I'm going to move forwards my sniper on that right hand side. Oh, one of my back sims got killed before it unloaded. Oops. I unload these Stralki. We can start pushing them through. See how far we can get across the open with these guys. Let's keep pushing across the center and we'll cover it with the MGs. Okay, I'm going to have a unit go closer just so that we insta surrender that when we've got it pinned down. Ultra 12 is good. We need 18 flags though, right? So we need to capture. Like one, two, three, four, five, six more. Yeah, we'll try and capture these six on the right hand side. I'm going to move forwards with my Stralki here. Get some more Stralki DP into the town. There's so many machine guns everywhere. Kind of ridiculous. Get that MG bunker. Probably more important to kill. Kind of tempted to try and push for, across the river a little bit. Get those Stralki maybe to have a go. Taking the flag further back here might be quite difficult. I don't think Aaron can speed this up because we've only got four minutes left now. Get some Stralki to just kind of force the right hand side a bit. I'm going to get into the church with a sniper. Risky because 
reveals us to like everything around us. Oh, let's unload these early. Yeah, we gotta ignore the 37 there. Keep pushing through. I'm gonna go run on top of it. Our mortifier is pretty good. Pretty spot on. We can get more mortars, but I don't have the ammunition for it, really. I guess we could do, like, a couple LA-5s now. Just to speed things up a little bit. Double bomb stuff. Kill. Good kill. I didn't unload these very early, did I? <laughs> Alright, these Throki DP can stay back. We'll just have the standard Throki push forwards. Right, we're 16 to 8. Which is good. Let's keep all of these moving forwards. And get on top of that flag, that's going to be 17. This is 18 on the right, so we'll go for this. Uh, all these mortars are out of ammunition. Let's just go bomb that out of the building. Do you have some Yak 7s with rockets? I think I might just bring in more like Starky DP on the left to push forwards. We did lose the Rocky there. And maybe we just hit the transport trucks there. Well, that's supply trucks, I guess they are. Can I push up to this one? Be good if I can. Gonna take out that Zeb B. Oh, we got it. That's good. We're on 18. 18 to 6. We've made it. If we can secure some extras just in case. We're well on top of this one. That's good. Happy about that. Well on top of this one as well. Backed up by the Maxims pushing across the open. Really nice. Just forcing them back. Slowly but surely. Go uh, duck into these trenches here. Go take up the buildings. Hold on to these points. Navi victory. Killed the Hodgkiss. That gives us another flag. 19 to 5. Major victory. Good stuff. Well, they only brought in one infantry regiment to defend against us, uh, which is unfortunate. 15 minutes, 58 seconds, though. 46 kills, 4 losses. Good stuff. Yeah. Those mortars, super important for just pinning down and taking out those bunkers. It. I have to disorganize those. Uh, then we push back this unit, but they're still on three action points. That could be bad for us. I'm not sure if I should push up more behind this. Because these guys might get attacked next turn. Wouldn't be good. I guess I could just push up like on the flank as well. We have... Actually, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll move this like right onto the main road. 
That's going to be loads of T-34s, but they do have Gavali, which is really nice. Just trying to think if we want to bombard any of these to stop them from attacking us, but if I can't bombard them all, then there's probably not much point. Make a little bit of a breakthrough there. I can kind of push in on the left side of this front line towards the lake. Still hit their front line eventually. Front line's super strong there across the board. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll just look for another attack. I might attack the 1st Battalion of the 14th Infantry Regiment. Push back in there. Alright, and we'll do that with the these two regiments and probably bring in some artillery, maybe. Or some aircraft. Tempting to do aircraft. We could do the recon regiment, actually. Well, let's do that. Tactical battle. Where they have flak. Where's their flag? I can't see their flag. Hmm. That's weird. Well, <laughs> guess I lost a lot bunch of recon planes. <laughs> I must have just not noticed it. Okay, that's all right. Uh, we can still win this with uh, two regiments. It's just we have a little bit less points to work with. So we'll have to do probably like double mortar starts. Just like maybe a couple. Because it doesn't really matter where they are. We'll just put them back here. It's fine. Put a couple here as well. Cool. And then we'll do probably Thraki. Or the town pushes. Or we could do the Stroke DP. Hmm. Uh, let's do Stroke DP. Just because the, in the towns, like generally, you're fighting at a close or like a sort of mid range engagement where, where the Mozins and the DPs are just better. I mean, all across the front, probably Stroke DP are better to use. I might just actually use these as um, without their transports. Just deploy them without their transports and give them attack orders straight away. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just do the classic, classic charge. Cool. So we'll have those ones go for the town. These ones can go straight up for this objective. Uh, these ones can go for the center hill. Good. That'll do. Let's launch the battle. We're driving up on the right hand side just because it's safe. But everywhere else, if there's like a bunker up on this hill or something, it's just going to start transport sniping us to death. So probably best we start on foot and just charge forwards across the open. Cool. Get my mortars ready. I'll get a couple more mortars in after this. Each of my rifle regiments has four of them, so we can just have um, eight in total. We can have like four on the right, four on the left. Let's just unload these in case. Yeah, pack 50 almost killed that. I'm altering that. And next tick, I'll get a couple more mortars in. Shame we don't have the recon aircraft. It would have been really nice to have the recon aircraft. Yeah, we lost a lot of those recon planes unnecessarily to the AA. That was a bit silly of me. Doesn't really matter in the long run. 
would have been nice to save as many forces as possible. I like often when I go through these campaigns. I don't really mind if I don't min max, but it's kind of nice if you do. Like when you get those perfect battles where you don't lose any forces, it's pretty nice. And if I could do that a lot to the point where we just don't really lose many units in tight in through or well, through the entire campaign, it can get pretty fun. Did we actually kill the bunker already? It's been some pretty good, accurate mortifier, if so. I might bring in the OBs on this left hand side. Bring one in in the middle as well. Be pretty good. Push that forwards behind the Straki. I just hit that honestly with the mortars. Same deal here, we just hit that with the mortars as well. I uh, could get some snipers in. Not a bad shout for this open range area so we can see what's ahead of us in good time already captured quite a lot of flags though which is nice they bring in some maxims as well behind our lines Right, they've got some leaders on the left there. We are only up against uh, one, I think it's what, like one battalion of the 14th Infantry Regiment. I hit this back 37 so we can just overrun it. Probably going to need to leave uh, at least a couple units back here to hold this flag. But we'll keep a couple going. Going to park a couple Straki like right next to these. It's fine. I just unload these early. Again, there's a pack 75 up there, so that's going to easily be able to transport snipers. Oh, hello, Commandant. Interesting. Alright, so uh, make sure we hit the We'll hit that MG42 bunker, but we don't have enough um, ammunition at the moment, so we need to resupply our mortars here. Oh, we do actually have six on the other one? Wait, we have six in total? Did I just bring in, like, oh, I brought in two from each, didn't I? So we had like four left on each, I guess. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, let's keep these Taraki DP moving forwards. Straki got wrecked in the open there. That's unfortunate. Let's uh, keep these spreading out. Like some of them have already made it to their targets, which is pretty good. We're at 10 to 14, we're doing really well. Oh, 
The Commandant managed to almost kill my Straki. That must be in the Lunatist or the MG42 bunker, surely. We get right next to this leader unit. Those Taraki DP got killed. It's a shame. We'll probably do quite a lot of damage to the Kadari here. Get some more infantry on this right hand side. Don't think I need more in the center just yet. Maxims to roll up. I think that bunker on the right might still be alive. We're going to send a few Stroki to go check that out. We'll send the rest to go into the town as usual. These guys should probably just stay back. Move out the forwards the other Straki. Oh, those guys died. Was that the infantry to take them out? Rather savage. Alright, what I'm going to do is we're going to get both of these. Hit the MG42 bunker there. And we'll hit the Pack 37 afterwards. Okay, I'm going to have those fall back. Keep pushing on that left-hand side as well. These maps we've been playing on, they've been very wide. They're like Sludsk and, and the other map we were on. Both very wide maps. Now, all that modifier and we don't kill the MG42. Wow. We've got a second volley. For each coming in. I think I'm gonna do this. Almost that Straki. Shame. We're gonna need some more Straki. I'm gonna need some more stuff to push with. Looks like they managed to get away just. Those guys are out of range of using the PTRD, which is a bit of a pain. And the MG42 is still alive on that hill. I'm just going to run towards that Lunatist and take them out. Alright, I'm just going to unload these guys while we're here. And um, these can try and push towards that objective, that's fine. Cool. Now these guys, we're going to turn them spread out. Just doing tab and then giving them an order to scroll through all of the ones at the bottom here. Because they all have the same transport, I can press tab to scroll through them. Uh, looks like we're not going to be able to do that. There's the pack 50 there. 
Don't want to get transport sniped too much. Okay, probably gonna move these guys back. Uh, the Strak in the open probably are dead anyway. We can move on top of the pack 37 bunker there. Now, this is tough, like these bunkers are making it very difficult and they're not going down easy. Alright, took out that bunker, that's good. I'm probably going to force my way onto this ZB-53. Try and take that out. The sniper's almost out of ammunition there. That was Thraki dead. It's a shame. We might just bring up some more Thraki on this left-hand side. Killed the infanterist. The OB here supporting this Thraki is pretty good. Uh, I could probably get these Thraki to move up and kill the Hodgkiss on the hill. We'll do that. Get the Maxims to keep pushing forwards. And I'll probably have the OB move up now. This OB may as well get up on the hill as well. Thraki DP on the left died. These bunkers are being real rough to deal with. Alright, let's uh, go across the light cover on the low ground and try and take that fire objective. Okay, let's hit the machine guns that are in cover there. I'm gonna have to just force loads more men in here. This has been a pretty rough attack. Hopefully we can make it work though. I really want to make sure we get a major victory if I can. I know like we did before, but it's not guaranteed. It's really not. We should be able to kill the Hotchkiss soon with the Strauki. Okay, nice. Yeah, we can probably take this flag ahead of us. And maybe this flag on the right. It's going to be two more flags. We might be able to take this one on the far left. Especially with all these Thraki DP arriving. I might be able to take this one at where the ZBs are as well. Going forwards, and Straki died in the open here. I've got to go ahead and try and get on top of this bunker if I can. Pin down that bunker. Okay, nice. It's dead. That's good. So the mortars just did the job for us. Oh no, it's uh, infantry on the right hand side. That's annoying. Gonna make things a lot more difficult. 
I've almost captured that one on the left. We've almost captured this one. We've almost captured the one up on the hill, but there's still loads of stuff like in our way. Just all these MGs everywhere. It being a right pain. Keep them all pushing up. Get that 37. Bring in some more supply here. Ostraki dead. I get the major victory, I really don't mind the amount of losses I've taken. Kind of where I'm at right now with this. I just want to push for that major victory. All these got taken out. Right, all those can push across. If we take out the advantage, I might be able to just flank on the right hand side there. Alright, 19 to 5. We managed to capture this one briefly as well. These guys need to stay alive though. Captured one on the left as well. It's good, 5 seconds left, 4 seconds left. Good. Another major victory. Perfect. 18 minutes, 26 seconds, 43 kills, 18 losses. Mostly Storaki that we lost. It is a shame we lost as many Storaki as we did. But against the infantry, I don't really mind the Infanterist and the Kalari. The Zebbies. Damn, those things are annoying. All those MGs everywhere. Okay. Well, that certainly helps us out quite a bit. And that push. Not really sure if I have much else to kind of back this unit up if it gets attacked. But unfortunately, guys, it's been my time. I'm going to leave it here. So that's been uh, an introduction to this campaign, I guess. Uh, we're going to try and continue to push through towards ARC. That's our first major objective. And then this is our second major objective. So I'm probably going to try and push through here at some point as well through these pioneer battalions. And on the left hand side, uh, we're definitely going to shift up, but I'm likely just going to fortify my front line and then maybe try and push through the flank for encirclements. That's about it. All right, well, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,